Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to update mods. So if you're using mods, make sure that it is up to date. So you can go to mod manager over here and make sure that you update your mod over here. And if that does not work, or you can remove mods. You can uh, just stop using mods and then check or you can remove all the mods. So if you have mods over here, you can remove it from here. And once you remove the mods, now you can put mod one by one. So put one more, put one mod and then launch the game. And then if it is working, then you can try another mod and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, uh, let me close the game for now. For this, go to the game installation folder. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game over here. Select manage, click on browse local files. Open bin folder, win64. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check or you can launch the game from Steam and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So for this, you can go to Steam Maker, click on the game, go to properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam and then make a click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Now, if you have Discord running, you can open Discord. Let me. So go to Discord settings and go to game overlay and then you can turn off in game overlay. So over here you can see enable overlay. If this is on, you can turn it off and then enable legacy overlay also. If this is on, you can turn it off and close Discord. So make sure that you close Discord from here as well. Quit Discord and then check if you have any other in overlay application like if you have nvidia app running you can go to settings over here and then uh, go to here you can see nvidia overlay you can turn off this nvidia overlay and then close nvidia app and then relaunch the game if you have any other overlay application uh, running you can close it and then launch the game next is clear steam download cache now for this you can go to steam and then click on steam settings go to downloads over here and then Click on clear cache over here and then clear download cache. Click on confirm. The Steam will restart and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to, if you're using reset application, you can uninstall reset and then check. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to set this USET CF ACES Aura and Chroma, uh, Razor Chroma 2. If the value data is set to 1, you can set it to 0. Now, for this, you can go to config file for this you can go to documents over here and then open the game folder and over here uh, you will see config.cfg make a right click open with notepad and then you can find this all right so over here you can see you set cf underscore aces underscore aura one if the value data is like value is one you can type in zero over here for you set CF Razor Chroma also, if this is set to one, you can set it to zero and then go to file, click on save, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Rename the, rename the, uh, okay. Uh, rename the config file. Now to rename the config file, you can make a right click on the game. And then when you rename the config file, all the saved settings will be lost. You have to uh, reapply the settings. So to rename it, you can just make a right click and then click on rename and then you can rename it and then relaunch the game and then check. Click on yes. 
relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go to documents over here and then you can copy this, copy a backup of this folder, create a backup, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename the save game files. Now, when you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, first of all, create a backup. And then once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this and then relaunch the game. Now, the next step is to try opening the game with DX11 OpenGL or safe mode. So you can try each one, click on play. You can try DirectX launch with DirectX and then click on play and then check. If that does not work, you can try OpenGL, click on open play you can even try safe mode and then check and if any one of the method uh, launch option is working you can put a check on always use this option and then you can check still not working you can try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see x86 and x64 version. Download this x86 and x64 file. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And make sure both the files are installed once installed now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to privacy and security in windows settings click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder open bin win64 select this exe file click on open once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder Select the game exe file over here and then click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added over here. Now, once the game is added over here, put a check on private and public both over here and then click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to now if similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to the exclusion list. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have an NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card over here. Select your operating system. And then on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view and then click on download over here. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. When you run the exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation this is must and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check similarly if you have amd card you can go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an, just an example i don't have amd graphic so select your graphic card your operating system and then whichever is the latest you can download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here high performance you will see your graphic card over here select this one relaunch the game and then check desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to 
hardware and sound and then go to power options over here and over here i have only balance but if you have power saver option you can try power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balance or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check next is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings click on adv advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game next step is to disable integrated graphic card make a right click the start menu go to device manager now over here expand display adapter now if your computer has a dual graphic card like this one is intel in my case it's intel integrated graphic card then you can make a right click on integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already uh, like if you face any problem or or once you are done playing the game you can come back and en en enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working you can go to um, nvidia website select your graphic card your operating system and on this page scroll down and then click on view more version maybe you can try the older graphic card driver uh, click on view download it install it but when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next restart your computer and then check md card users after you select your graphic card uh, you can uh, select your graphic card over here this is just an example click on previous versions over here and then select your operating system maybe you can try this one or maybe this one download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so nvidia card users you can open nvidia app and then you can go to home and you if you see the game over here click on play over here and launch the game from here if that does not work go to graphics select the game over here and then click on play and then check you can even optimize so click on optimize the optimize option and then relaunch the game and then check if if it is already optimized you will see revert option you can revert the optimization and then check also scroll down once you select your game over here scroll down uh, if you see like uh, smooth motion somewhere you can disable the smooth motion turn it off go to global settings turn off smooth motion and then relaunch the game also close nvidia app next step is to try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option nvidia control panel once it open go to help option at the top and then click on debug mode make sure debug mode is checked and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work go to manage 3d settings global settings and then click on restore click on yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to uh, lower down monitor refresh rate like for example if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz maybe you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again 
and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working unplug all the external devices which you are not using disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you are not using disconnect like if you have key chrome razor Huntsman keyboard disconnect it, raise your Tartarus, disconnect any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer which you are not using, any, any kind of dongle, disconnect it, disconnect extra controller, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor, if you have any third party application or services running, close it, do not overclock, you can set the overclocking to default, close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI after burner, revert tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. If you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then check. Next step is to update Windows. For this, you can go to Windows Update or Update and Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working, update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, reinstall the game to uh, like C drive. Try C drive. If the game was installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game was already installed to C drive. Then try in installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.